Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to connect HTML form with MySQL database using PHP. Here you can see a HTML form. Now I want to show you that how can we connect this HTML form with MySQL database using PHP. That means that if we fill up the form and after filling this form, if we click on submit, then the form information will be stored in this data table and it will be inserted in mysql workbench database so this is our simple html form that i have designed using html and css here you can see and of course make sure in form tag you have to write down action and inside the action uh, you have to write down php file where the form will be submitted and it is form.php in method you have to write down a method either get on post but in form we write down the post method. In every text box, you have to write down its name. Here you can see role, name, address, and submit. By name, we want to call it. Now we have to connect database with the HTML form, and we will do it using PHP. So of course, make sure that your PHP file or PHP project, uh, you have to save in XAMPP server installation folder where you have installed and I have installed the XAMPP server in D drives, XAMPP server latest. Inside the XAMPP folder, you have to keep the PHP folder and PHP file in stdocs subfolder. Here you can see PHP project, okay? Then you have to open the XAMPP server and of course you have to start the Apache. Now you have to write down the PHP code. At the beginning of form.php, we will write down PHP. To write down PHP, you have to start angle bracket question mark PHP and you have to close it question mark angle bracket. Okay. So, first of all, we have to connect our database with a PHP file. So, we have to write down some basic information of database and we will store the basic information of database in a variable. First of all, I will take host. Here, I will write down local host. 306. I will take another variable and it is user. Uh, in this variable, I will write down username of the database and it is root. Here we can see root localhost 3306. Localhost 3306 uh, is the host name, the root is the username. So I have written down the host and the username. Then I will take another variable and it is uh, I will store the password. So if you have password, you have to write down the password and if you do not have password then just you have to write down like this and i have a password so i have written this password then i will take another variable and it is suppose db in this variable i have to write down the database name and our database name is users i will write down users so to connect our php file with database i will take another variable and it is con in this variable, I will write down a function that will help us to connect our APHP file with database. It is MySQLI connect. And in this function, we have to write down these variables serially. Okay. First of all, I will write down host, then user, password, and then DB. So our database has been connected. Now we want to insert our form data into this uh, data table now i will take a condition at least if is set post submit it means that if we fill up the form and click on the submit button then this condition will work uh, we will take variable to store this form information here we can see role name and address I will take a variable and it is role. In this variable, I will store the role information. Here you can see if I write down the role, then this value will be stored in this variable. So I have to write down post. Inside the quotation, you have to write down the name of the field. Here you can see the text box name is role. I have to write down role. Then I will take another variable and it is name. In this variable, it will store 
our HTML forms name field value. Here you can see name. So I have to write down name. I will take another variable which will uh, store the value of address and value of the address is stored. Here you can see our address field and I have given it a name address. So I have to write down address. It means that after submitting this form, the value will be stored in these three variables, role, name and address. Okay. Now we want to submit this information to this database data table. Here you can see our database name is users and our table name is student. Here we have three fields, role name and address. So to insert our HTML form to database, we have to write down the insert command of SQL. So we have to write down the insert query inside a variable. Suppose I am taking a variable and it is SQL. In this variable, we have to write down the insert query and it is insert into the table name and our tables name is student. So here we can see the table name and it is student and it has three columns, role, name and address. So we have to take the sequence of this column, role, name and address. So we have to write down role, name and address. Now we have to write down another keyword and it is values. Inside values, we have to write down the variable name serially and of course you have to write down the variable name into the quotation. So first we have to write down the role, then we have to write down name, address. We have written down the insert query of SQL command. So this is the insert query. Now we have to execute this insert query and we will execute the insert query into another variable and it is query. So you can take any variable I have taken. So I have written down a variable and it is query. Inside the query variable, I will take a function. It will help us to execute our insert query. The SQL variable is taking the insert query. To execute our insert query, we have to write down a variable and it is MySQLI query. So this function will take two parameters. It is the variable where we have connected our database. Con variable where we have connected our database. So inside the con variable, we have taken a function MySQLI connect. This function will help us to connect our database with our PHP file. Then we have to write down another variable. The variable where we have written down the SQL query and it is SQL. So we have to write down two variables inside the MySQLI query. Now we will save this uh, file and we have to run it. So this is form.php. I will reload the page and I will fill up the form. Now I will submit this form. So if I go to database and reload the page, here you can see role 12, name Tarif Hassan and address Khulna. So our form information has been inserted into MySQLi database and this is very simple. So this was the simple PHP code and this was the HTML and CSS code to connect the HTML form with database as well as we can insert our HTML form into MySQL database and this is very simple. I think you can do it by yourself.